Hi everybody, this is Frog Snack, and it has been a while. I owe you an apology for not uploading videos. I've gotten some messages about it, and I'm really sorry. It's, it's something I absolutely love doing is loading videos on uh, YouTube and having everybody kind of share the experience with me just because everyone plays The Sims differently. They play the game differently. They get different things out of it. For me, it's always been stress relief and kind of a creative outlet. I really like storytelling. I love the test of time challenge. So I'm getting back into it a little bit this week. I just played this family, which is the, it's actually not the real Salson family. If you all recall from a quick recap, there are five main families in this channel. Challenge. The Salsons are plebes. They are plebeians in the Roman era, so that's what we're currently playing. And I can get into family trees and all that in a second, but I'm not going to take too long with setup just because it's been so long since I recorded. I will put a link in the description just so that you guys know what I've been up to, but I have been playing Sims, just not the normal way. Usually I don't stick with anything, and uh, the Test of Time challenge is one that I've really stuck with for a long time, and here's uh, here's my example of that. That's the save number that I'm on, 585, um, which actually has only gone up, like, I've maybe saved it 20 times in the last eight months because I've played once or twice. I had some computer issues, but beyond that, um, I started playing what's called the Random Legacy Challenge, which is a ton of fun, but it's set up more for blogging. So there is a blog. I do photos and everything. I have I have some photo editing skills, so I think it comes out nice, but um, really for the sake of telling a story, which focuses on one family instead of an entire town like this. So you have options. So you can uh, read something when you get bored. I think it's really great. It's actually over Blogspot, and I'll link the mod, the Sims description, or um, excuse me, the link for um, the actual challenge if you want to get into it, because the uh, uh, general... Yeah, the general thread just keeps going. A lot of people participate in that one, too. All right, so um, anyway, I'm here with the Salsons. Now, Brad, he's not at work just yet. He is a criminal. So the rule for the plebeians is that, now they actually have a pretty nice house, but they can't afford it, so that's why they're able to have it. Um, the rule for the plebes is that they can have a job. They can make up to, I'm going to say it's $200 an hour. The cap is 200 The only challenge is that the second I stop playing this family, he's probably going to become the emperor of evil. Like, I saw somebody walk by, took a screenshot of it when I was playing. I was playing them for another week to get back into it. This is the next family in the rotation. But um, there's some relative of his that became the emperor of evil. I don't know. If I th it might have been a Fahadine, I don't know, but there's the f there's the five main families. So to go back over it, starts with the Coves, goes down to the Bupkis. So the Coves are in charge, they're the emperors. Bupkis are the... Uh, let me see if I got... I don't think he's related to any of them. Um, right, his... All the way go goes back to Fahadine, which became the slaves. And she was a Bupkis, actually. Holly was at one point. So they could never... These two could never marry now, because once we hit the Roman era, um, that's where the caste system came into play for the Roman era. So it's only for three generations. Uh, so Salson, actually, Brad married up because he would have been a slave, but he married Ein, who is a Salson. So from slave to plebeian. Then it goes plebeian to patrician, which is Bupkis. That's what his mom would have been, uh, and his dad would have been a slave. But again, that was not the Roman rules, so it didn't matter. And they were my favorite couple, so he's actually uh, one of the offsprings of like, one of my favorite. They just seem to really like each other. I, I know they're sims, but they seem like they were in love. So I really, I was rooting for them, and they had a lot of kids. So here's Brad with his new wife, Ein. So when I wasn't playing him, he got fake married. Uh, hang on. Right, right, safe foot. So she's got, I think she has... Um, she doesn't have the lifetime wish to date a million people, but she has had multiple partners, and every time I stop playing her, she marries somebody new. Unfortunately, his eldest son is was the heir for his family. Now, Fahadina, he's not the heir for the Fahadin family. Uh, I believe that's this dude. Is it? Is it Shrivan? Wait, hang on. Uh, Brad's like the baby. So yeah, I'd have to go back and chase that. So anyway, he's not actually the heir, but for his last name, right? That was his eldest child. So, um, where are we at? Right, so Julius was the first person to die in the games, which sucks. He was super adorable, too. He was, like, a, a cool-looking... I, I don't know, I just liked his look. So, uh, what ended up happening, his children are all, like, the original children that he had with Seifut, they were both slaves. So all of their kids were in the slave lottery and everything else. So... What's happening now, because he married a Salson, the game rules are anybody that they marry, so guy or girl, they move up if they marry up. So because she is um, a Salson, he became one also. So his last name is incorrect. He's certainly not the founding line. So I know I, I edit the last part of the name if they're a different uh, 
line. So Hermes is actually the heir to the Salson family, ironically. So he's, this is uh, Brad's wife's brother now. So he's the one who's in charge of the slave family. So Hermes is the heir, uh, which, yeah, those two, that's confusing. His family's weird. I don't know if he had kids with his sister or the game confused them. Anyway, long story short, so his sister, uh, he, or sorry, his wife, <laughs> his, basically his, uh, his brother-in-law is responsible for killing his first child, which is pretty crazy. Um, so good thing Sims don't have a good memory, otherwise uh, he'd probably have died in a fight. Which actually is part of the game rules too, but I, I, Sims never fight in Sims 3. Maybe I don't make them evil enough. I like to raise them well so they have a good chance. When Viking era happens, you're really not allowed to do that anymore. So I have a couple of chances to like play really nice. Like everyone prospered in the Roman era so they can all have nice children. That's not going to be the case when we get to Viking. Alright, so anyway, Julius. Uh, so back to this. So Philly is living in-house with Brad and his new wife. So I don't know how that happened. It might have been an accident. So this little girl over here who's having her bake sale, and I just, I kind of really liked the bake sale. I finally had a kid get to like the highest level with the oven and successfully sell baked goods. And so I was like, I gotta record this. It's been forever. And uh, yeah, so she's got everything over here and like, it looks really good. You get the caramel brownie. She's got pies. Everything's perfect quality. She has chocolate muffins here. Uh, blueberry muffins, vanilla, and she hasn't made a sale yet because the uh, fair is super popular. But I introduced her to a bunch of other kids. I wanted her to meet like boys her age just so that when she gets older it won't be hard to find her a match because I have trouble with that sometimes. So this way she's got friends. SP can have them get along while I'm not playing them and uh, that way if we come back around to the family she might already have like a good match. So that's what I try to do with the kids just because it's such a challenge. Uh, and these two, this is a cove right here, you can tell by the hair, Adonis Covale, and Sophus Salsa Neal. So she's also, this girl's a Salsa, and we haven't met her yet. Um, and I streamlined a couple of things too with how I play, but also, I don't know if it comes through on the screen, I've got all of my graphics turned all the way up, which is beautiful. It's so, so pretty, I got high reflection on the water and stuff, so not, not the way the game used to be before. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you these guys, so she's lucky, so Philly here, Basically, her dad is hiding her uh, her real parentage and pretending like she's a, a daughter with his new wife when she's not. So she should be a slave, but for whatever reason, they ended up in the house, the three of them. So I must have thought that she was a child of these two and she wasn't. So I'm just going to play it as if she was kind of a rescue, right? So she has brothers and a sister, no, I'm sorry, two sisters and a brother uh, from Brad and from Ein here. But uh, Brad has a lot of children from his previous marriage, so here's Seyfut, uh, who's now married to this guy who, if you remember a couple of videos ago, Trevor is the one who's always cheating on his wife. Well, he got remarried. So <laughs> I don't know if that'll stick or not, but the, his wife is the one that was cheating with the emperor and had some really adorable babies. She has like reddish blonde hair. Uh, so anyway, so... Right, so it was Julius, then a gap, so here's where I wasn't playing. I think I had the whole town aging up, and right now I've got it to TS2 style aging. So Brad um, had right, Julius, Philly, and then Zotikos, Christian, and Roman. So starting to name them more Roman names, hoping that these kids wouldn't be killed, right? So I'm assuming that there's something like that going on. It might not be, but whatever. I also did Slave Lottery again and bopped new kids into the Slave House, but I'm not playing that house again for a little while. Um, at least I don't think I am. I'm, I'm kind of in that area of town with these guys, and I don't think she's going to sell anything, but I just wanted to show you how cute. Uh, not everybody's dressed properly, but I've been changing outfits, so look at you guys. This is a bupkis. Antipater, I think he's in politics, and yet here he is doing whatever she keeps getting stuck. Good job, Brad. Alright, so uh, somebody wished to have a garden. It has nothing to do with them. Also, they have a little side business. I wanted his wife to run a toy shop because they can have reasonable businesses and he can have a career that's not respectable is the rule for these guys. So he can be um, a criminal, whereas like slaves could either be a criminal or work in one of their master's houses. So once they become a teen, I move them somewhere else, which kind of messes me up on the aging, to be honest. I haven't figured that one out. So, but I wanted, because these guys can have a small business, I wanted Ayn to basically have this toy maker and run a business. And I've been trying to make things that, like, they're not going to have a race car in this era. So I want the town to really look not overly modern, but they're also allowed to have books. So here's all the books for the kids. 
Uh, they also have a keg because that's totally not modern. <laughs> they had a party. Uh, right, so we did a little bit of everything with them. They planted this gorgeous garden and I have a build on this house. So this is one of the houses that I built on and didn't have anybody living in. So this is what it looks like lived in, worked out really well. If you want to ask about anything you see here like this, I want to say was around The Sims 2, this bake oven. I just like the way it looks versus the other one. This I'd have to find the link. This is an under the stairs doghouse. So really cool. It comes with the front and then it comes with the back piece. It's like two separate pieces. I don't know if that was around the Sims or where that was from. So literally their dog is out in the doghouse, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and a bunch of other, I don't even know. I've had these forever. I don't remember where they came from. But I'm going to play these guys until Sunday morning because I always change rotations on Sunday morning. So I'm hoping with this video to do a quick recap and to start the next rotation. And I can't promise that I'll record the whole week because honestly it can be kind of boring. I mean, I enjoy it, but it's a lot of like this stuff. Let's fix the sink. Okay, let's paint. Um, naming the children, which is kind of cool. So, right. Um, so, Philly, Philo, which means lover and friend. Philly, girl something, I don't remember. Uh, Charis, which means charity. And Sophia, which actually means wisdom. Sophia's the newest addition. She was born this morning. So, she's brave and a genius. Her name means holy wisdom. Uh, so it is an older name, so some names are just going to start sounding familiar as we get through the era. The Viking era should be fun. I'll probably mess everything up because I don't know anything about the Vikings other than they pillaged and culturally appropriated everybody, right? So they own everybody uh, over time. Like it, it just seems like any Northern European person has encountered Vikings at some point um, in their actual history. So anyway, these guys are allowed to have things like the chess table. They keep wishing to have things that aren't invented yet. I do let them do this. This is um, martial arts. That's another Around the Sims 2 item. So it's like a punching bag, but it acts like the martial arts training uh, dummy. Uh, Alright, so we're good. So Ein, this is where... Simple wish. Could I just clean the, the dishes? That's all I want to do. Um, what she got going on? I had her pick up their stupid toys. I know there's a mod to not let these imaginary friends be around because they drive me crazy. Um, oh yeah, I probably should be uh, listening to headphones. I, I hope you're not getting an echo. You might be getting an echo. I'll have to test this in a minute. Um, Alright, Brad's going to read something because I guess he's able to, but he actually has to work out, I think. Yeah, do a strength workout, man. You've been wishing for that forever. Uh, so I should actually have he and his wife try for a baby again. I think they're allowed to go up to six. Now, Brad himself has over six kids, but it doesn't matter because his wife doesn't, so I'm, I'm not going to count it, even though I could have them stop. Uh, slaves have to always have kids, which is super, super annoying, especially when you're playing rounds like I am, where it's every family for a week, and I don't get to cheat and have the whole neighborhood age up together, which I kind of like, to be honest. I don't mind turning aging on for, like, one night and letting everybody gradually grow up together. I think it's a little more organic than this. Uh, and like I said, for example, he's a Salson, so uh, let's say Philly, when she becomes a teen, I'm going to send her to a bubkiss or to a cove house to work until she gets married. That's how that rule is. This looks really nice up here. Um, no, I don't want to click on her. Ugh, get out of here. Well, I guess I should. I didn't know I could do that. Okay, well, whatever. Hi, I guess I'm back to you. Um, right, so what was I saying? So right, Philly, when she grows up, will have to have a job and that's going to mess up if it's TS2 style aging. She could age up twice as quickly as another child that was born at the same time. Because may, let's say I move her to a family I haven't played yet in that rotation. Dude, I love these animations. They're so cute when they're like trying to sell stuff. But sell stuff! Alright, she's not going to be able to hear. There's too many other things for Sims to do to be honest. I think I'm going to move her to the nearby park. Uh, but this is also kind of a test to see if all my recording equipment to see how well it works uh, with every all the graphics turned up. Here's a jerk in a suit. What are you doing, man? You were just at our party and I changed you out of this. You look good in a suit, but stop. He's this is dude. This dude's awesome, Shrevan. He looks like a Neanderthal. Like he's just all hairy and stuff. He's got like big bushy chest hair and his long hair and stuff. And he just I don't know. He looks manly, which is kind of cool, I guess. But then he. He looks good in a suit, so it annoys me. I have to change him back all the time. So he's kind of like, you know, I don't know. He's cool. Anyway, um, 
but he was just at a party and I changed him. Who's this? Julian Friedman. You're not a real sim. See, and I can't delete him. Maybe, is there a Naraz reset? Maybe. Ugh, like we need you as a... I have register installed too. I'll have to do a video one of these days soon. Can we do a basic? I think I can just go home, which hopefully is nowhere. Hopefully you're a homeless sim and you don't have a home and you just vanish. Go away. Thank you. Um, I used to delete them and that's what corrupted... Um, it can corrupt your neighborhood to delete them. Right, I'm going to send her somewhere less busy. Also, I put this crazy thing in here. I don't know if it's going to load the lost venue of Amor. So I, I bought... I'm not a Sims 4 person. I just go Sims 3 all the way and trying to get all the things. So this is one of the store items, uh, which is not clearly loading. I guess... Oh, no, I did pause it. Whatever. The lost venue of Amore. Yeah, there's like benches here that aren't loading either. I'm not too worried about it, but I'll send somebody there originally. Or eventually, I mean, I just don't want it to crash my game. And then... What is this? Wait, that's not anything. This might be a new... Oh, no, no. This is our friend. We were at his place. I can't look into it because it's a house. Uh, what's his name? The flirt. His lifetime wishes to have all the girlfriends. He's a cove. I love his house. It's so cool. I don't remember who made it. Beautiful. All right, anyway. Uh, where are we at? So she's not at all by home. Here's home. So next to the house... This is a stupid ice cream truck. I love how the the game will always come by and try to ruin the immersion somehow. So this is a tiny little shop. I was going to have them buy it and they couldn't afford to buy it. The idea was that it was a toy shop and then I had trouble reselling the handmade toys. There are ways to do it. Um, but I think it, because they can't even afford to buy the whole lot yet. What I did was I just assigned the register to Ayn and when she comes over here and works she makes some money off of it. Wives aren't supposed to make money but I think that's fair that she helps at a shop. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. Strollers aren't invented yet. Sorry, Chica. So yeah, so some of the stuff that came with uh, Midnight Hollow, like the toy set. Uh, but it's a super cute little store. It's simple. And it makes some money. I have to really watch out for it. And I think I hired this chick. Yeah, I hired Annie. I'm sure she's supposed to be in somebody's house, but I, I ruined that for her probably. Uh, and then, so the settings, basically, she's the owner of it, which, I mean, it always asks you to reset, but whatever. So she can be over here watching this. It seems like no sims were sent over. Maybe they all went to the park for that, um, not the real park, but you know. What about this, wait, what about this park? Do people come here? The sculpture park? Have I been here before? I love Sunlit Tides. It has cute things. This isn't the one they get married at. Oh, this is unusual. I don't think I go here very often. Look, there's not even a, a spawner in here. Minnow, blah, blah, aren't many types. That'd be a cool place to learn, I suppose. It's super pretty. Um, also, there's some things in the rules I sort of slightly ignore. All right, I'm just gonna have her visit this park. Um, such as the weather. So I have it set to, I think, summer year-round. It's either goes that or summer or spring. It might just be summer year-round. This is my little paradise game, so I'm allowed to play it like that, <laughs> I think. All right. So because I did the recap, it's taking me a minute to do the video. I hope the recap wasn't too annoying. I know I get too, uh, I get lost in the woods sometimes, and I want to tell every little story, uh, which doesn't always have to happen. Uh, hurry up, lady. But I love this. I can play. I'm still playing on fast forward. And, uh, okay, anyway. I just love the... I, my, my brother's awesome. He helped me put my computer back together. So I didn't lose anything. I have a RAID array, which is two. Uh, it's a redundancy array, so it's two hard drives that act as one. And when one dies, everything gets slow. Um, but you don't lose data, which is amazing. So if you've never heard of that and you like the game and you value your data... Maybe think about setting one of those up or hiring somebody who can. Because that was pretty cool. So random little computer tip. Uh, but it's a RAID 1 array. So there is actual redundancy because there's somewhere you can set up. There you go. It's going to be too late and maybe for her to sell anything, but we'll try. Uh, right. So um, not that you called for computer advice or that, not that you're watching for computer advice is what I should say. Tent table. I don't think she earned a thing because I didn't get a pop-up about it. Wait, oh, wait, 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 stock. Baked goods, collect money. Alright. Yay, buy my stuff. 
There's gonna be nothing in there. So sad. They're so sad and they cry. Stop it. Just tend the table and sell stuff. And the prices are low. It doesn't matter if people don't come by. It depends on, on who's by. Hi, Madonna. And this is who? Adonis Covail. Come buy our food. We know you have money. Get over here and buy stuff, bro. Alright, whatever. Uh, I don't know his personality that I named him Adonis. He's probably friendly or something for when they're a kid. You can't. I'm curious, though. Kind of curious. Let's go into status and find out who you are. Uh, is it relationship? Single. Okay, well, that's the wrong one. Uh, progression? He's the town bully. Well, that's nice. That's great. Glad we looked into your personnel. He's inappropriate, perceptive, loves the heat, and can salute. Why did I name you Adonis? Maybe it was a pop-up name. Inappropriate. Isn't he young to be inappropriate? I didn't know they could do that then. Loves the heat and perceptive. Alright, so Adonis isn't a dummy. Alright. Why has he got to be a bully, though? That is a great question. Buy my stuff. He's going to be a bully and not buy it. That's about as mean as anyone ever gets in The Sims. And this is a little permanent wedding area I set up, which... Apparently weddings look the same in absolutely every era. Is that Roman enough? Hell no, these don't even match that. Did it anyway, who cares? She can play the guitar, by the way. She's pretty good at it, this little girl. Alright, uh, Philo, what's up, bro? You just reading books still? Why are you reading the same book? Read that one. Does he need something, though? Oh, he needs everything. Go to the bathroom. Use the potty chair. Alright, I'm gonna let her do child rearing stuff. I guess we're not tending our, um... That's so weird. The second I hired a clerk, the business stopped being annoying and people stopped showing up for it, so... Not exactly sure how that all works. Alright, um... Also, the playmat's a little cheaty. But, um... Yeah, yeah. But I use it anyway. I don't want to mess up the nursery and, like, add a bunch of... I don't have to soon. Like I said, I gotta make these guys have another baby. And doesn't Brad have to work soon? Probably. Where are you at? He's working out and probably... Alright, he already messed everything up, so... He wanted to do a strength workout, so... How close is he to improving? Nah, you're close, but not that close. Why don't you make a baby real quick? This is one thing I love Woohooer for, because... Uh, they're adults. We don't have to flirt all the time. We got we got stuff to do. Hurry up and make babies. <laughs> that is your goal in this game. And they add a dog. I, I had no control over it. There was a dog there. I sincerely hope you're not getting echoes from all the sounds, which you probably are. Who is that? You? You're hungry? Well... Mom and Dad are busy. See this puddle and they want you to crawl through that puddle? They've got other stuff happening right now. Um, horrible. But true. Could y'all could you hurry up? Feed in high chair? No, don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, there's a challenge called a... What is it called? A wish a -see? Where you can't really control your sims. I haven't tried that one yet. If you've ever heard of it, it's a really cool concept. The idea being that, let's say you pick one sim in a house, and you play that sim, and you don't, um, don't let them do whatever. They, like, you don't, you don't change, you don't cancel their wishes. So if they have a wish, like in this case, I've got four things on here. So play a game with Philly 250. Doesn't outweigh teaching Cheris to talk. So th I wouldn't do this. So you wouldn't be able to trade up, unless you were trading up. Yay, babies, thank you. So, um... I would be able to replace, like, teaching Charis to this for the Wish of Seed, just because it, the goal is to master, like, get all of their lifetime happiness points that are possible. Alright, you don't need to sleep. You're handy. Go repair that. Way to have babies. And I want her to clean up. Let's see, if I have them clean up, they'll clean up all the books, too, which isn't good. So why don't you uh, breastfeed, because I love it. He's never discovered a single... He walked right into the water, and then he freaked out about the water. Genius level right here. Go, go, breastfeed mod. My favorite mod ever. Alright. Thank you. Uh, and then he's super tired, so then you can put the baby in baby land. 
So once these two have six, and I'm going to include this little one here, I'm going to include Philly. So once they have three more, they can stop. Still seems like a ridiculous amount of children. And the next couple rounds are going to be like all of these kids as teens. So I really better figure out how to do the aging. Oh. And I have to, what do I have to figure out? If anybody remembers how to turn off aliens. Mm, not that up, that's super annoying. If anybody knows how to turn off aliens and imaginary friends, I think I can look up. I think that's something that I can have uh, turned off from Master Controller. No, you're at home. She does this. She probably abandoned all her baked goods that we baked today. She didn't bring the other thing over. The, yeah, this is the park. It's not far from you. Get your butt back over here. Blah, blah, you didn't sell anything. Sad. Go home. I mean, go not home. Ugh, Dahlia. I don't know what she's doing, that she's unroutable. I haven't played her house in a while. Some of the new lots I make, they don't fit the terrain of the world. And I kind of wish there was more completely flat Sims 3 lots. But there isn't. Oh my gosh, woman, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, game's just like, meh, whatever. Alright, is there anybody here to buy anything? Prompt her. Svelte. What's up, Svelte? Yeah, so we saw her when she was a kidlet. Lavender eyes, you can't really tell right now. She's super cute. I guess she's hopeless romantic, or she just likes thinking about going to sleep. No, come buy a big good. Svelte, come back here. No, you're a jerk. Fine, hop in a taxi. That's totally, totally Roman era thing to do. Alright, kid. Take your baked goods. I'm sorry you didn't do anything good. Also, um, I like the idea of just having a bake sale table here. I might just leave the table at this park. I kind of like that idea. I'm not going to lie. It matches her, though. This one's like her table. But um, I think I'm just going to have her go home so that all the kids that show up to that park can use the table. I think that would be more efficient. Mm hmm since I'm playing all the kids in the entire town. Good job, way to use a Swiffer. Those have totally been invented. We brought this bar in because we had a party and now it just blocks the entire room. And um, I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it. Watch them become drunkards by, last, by the next time I come by. Also, if anyone knows how to catch a three-eyed fish, I don't know if that has to do with going to the f negative future, the dystopian. But I've never seen it before, and he doesn't even fish a whole lot. Like, he has some skill in it. Look what he's got to be doing. He's level 4 fishing, but that's just the weirdest thing. He hasn't been fishing the whole time we've been here. He's been gardening. Excuse me. That was just kind of funny. Alright, so... Hurry up. So usually I'll change at like 6 in the morning. Ah, uh, Ayn. I guess she's going to get her nap on. I can, like, wake up and have them garden or something just so that they can. Uh, also, the, like, celery, pasta, fried okra. A lot more vegetarian dishes. Cauliflower, gratin, gumbo, veggie, kofta. Uh, um, yeah, kofta. These are things that I grabbed. Um, there's, an, there's a mod. There's always a mod. So that's at Mod The Sims. There's a whole bunch of different re um, ingredients. And I think you need a tuner mod for that, which I I finally I, it's been a little little while, but I think I finally put one in. I don't I don't change the XML tuning mods. I don't do that. Some people do. I don't need to get that specific. If somebody already did it for me, I'm just gonna say thank you. All right, uh, let's. Mm, I guess I'll save it after I make the video, right? Don't need to save it right now. That's a uh, Nora's saver though. It pops up every so often. Where are you at? You're at home? Oh, you're gonna do nothing. Great. You didn't sell. That's so sad. I wanted to promise you that wish, but it doesn't matter. And uh, she doesn't need excitable perfectionist artistic, and she wanted to learn writing. Um, so let's see. What are we gonna do? Let's buy her the writing. Oh, this is another cool thing. I just I'm, I get so stuck on the mods because they're awesome. All right. Let's do this. We'll do the scribbling pad is back in my game. I finally deemed it safe. Hopefully it is. I don't know.
No, what are you doing? Oh, okay, you're doing some dumb thing with it, like normal. I don't know, for some... <laughs> Foolproof. What is your dad doing? Okay. Great. I'm glad we had this conversation. She'll probably sit on the ground and do, do better that way. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna put the... No! Golly. What is up with this game? It's so weird. Some of the... Why can't I put you in here? Just go. Alright, and then that was the newspaper. She had to check the baking report so that we could find out what was popular so, so that nobody could buy her baking stuff all day. Thank you for screaming at me about it. I was like, there's a toilet somewhere with my name on it. I want you to know. Well, why don't you use your handy self? Um, I think he doesn't- today was leisure day, so he doesn't have to- oh, okay, it's a weekend, too. His boss. Who's your boss? Mm, he knows a lot of sims. Oh, Selma. Salson. How is she your boss? And the Emperor of Evil is, like, some dude. Julius, maybe? It's weird how many Salsons are, uh, criminals. Well, and seriously, slaves could be, but I just thought it made more sense for slaves to just be in somebody else's house actually just slaving away because it's part of the thing. But everybody of a lower class could work in a higher class house. So that is the same across the board, which means even a bupkis could be a servant to a cove. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Well, who is this? What you need? She's hunger. Oh, well, she's taking care of that. What do you need? Nothing. What do you need? Some social? Adorable baby. Okay, well, he's doing that thing. And then we can come be social with you, and snuggle you, and you can nap. How about? I love it. She had a baby and she's already pregnant. <laughs> this game is kind of brutal. Like, the 100 baby challenge that somebody asked me about once, I could check, but I think there's about 300 sims in my game already, so to play an entire town for three generations, it's several hundred babies that I've already played with, so. Uh, so, you know. Uh, all I know, there's other parts of that challenge. And, but anyway, but I appreciate requests. It was cool that somebody had one. Um, still. But anyway, yeah, about Sims 4, I hope everybody who's playing it is enjoying it. That's not really what I hear. Um, but everybody's got their own favorite thing, so I, I feel like it's suited for some people, but I'm still really glad that I don't have it. <laughs> I just, like I said, I got the toy machine, I've done different kinds of builds. This game is, it's not perfect, it has its flaws, but there's so many great mods out for it to really make it a more reasonable game. That I just don't see myself going back in time, starting from scratch, and being grumpy about, you know, like a unicorn or something that doesn't exist yet in Sims 4. Um, but one thing I didn't realize when I started with Sims 3, I forgot, rather, how there was no diving boards forever. So when 4 came out and people were freaking out, Ah, oh, there's no diving board! There's no toddlers! Which sucked. I mean, that was hilarious, to be honest. To me, I th thought it was funny. Now, granted, when they came out with uh, certain expansions, the one where you can, um, and I don't know the name of it, I forget, because I, I don't play it and don't own it, but, um, you know, where you scold the children or you let the children persist with bad behavior and it um, shapes their personality, that was brilliant. That's something I don't think Sims 3 can do, and I love that they did it that way. So if you're going to wait to introduce something like toddlers to do something like that really well, then I get it. Um, but it sucked. It seemed like it sucked for so many people. Uh, but I didn't realize with even Sims 3, people had to wait on things like a diving board. And it just seems unreasonable when you just had it with all of the, the previous games. So, But this way I can fully immerse myself and kind of do everything. And oh my gosh, these kids are never going to go to bed. Uh, don't you have a wish? Can you teach this kid to talk since you don't have to do anything else and he's not tired? Right? Oh, wait, you're sleeping. I'm sorry, that's the girl. That's Charis. Uh, well, you don't have a wish to teach her to talk. Do you have any other wish? I, I don't think I'm gonna get the three-eyed fish thing. Um, we're gonna start that, and then you're gonna read that. Baby book you've been wishing to read. Prepare canned soup. No, no, canning doesn't exist yet. It really should, maybe. 
You can eat a vanilla muffin that you made four days ago that somehow hasn't aged. And how's Ayn? She's sleeping? Good deal. Alrighty, so, um... I'm excited for the next family. I Actually, it might be one adorable old lady, so again, I'm probably not gonna film playing a whole week of her life. And I want to say she's a Salson also. But what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm done playing- I mean, this has been kind of a longish video, so I think I'm gonna pause it here and, uh, get started on the next family, just let these guys play out the night, because I have to save it and do some boring stuff that can be off-camera. So I'll make that off-camera, and I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so, uh, this is the next morning. This is an overview of where we're at. We're at the Salson house. Now, I also played the Edifique. I showed that one last time. They had a bunch more babies. Uh, let me just dive into this real quick. Ooh, Angelita. I did not name her. Uh, right, so that's weird. The game was prompting me for a while. So Ambrosia and LaShawn, so that was his new young wife. They are uh, slaves. They had to have all the babies possible. So George is new. So Savan, Livius, Paypock, Sargis, Angelita is new. So I'm going to have to go in and rename their kidlets. But uh, they've been having babies. But anyway, so from when I played... Holy cow, why is this empty? Okay. That's the main slave family, and they're not living here anymore, and that is really freaking me out. Where the heck did they move to? Uh, okay, so... Hang on, I'm gonna return to this game real quick, just because... This dude, I think, is related... Or was it Edifice? It wasn't the Fahadin family, so he's not. So I can't find them that way. So why the heck does nobody live here? Oh my gosh. This is the founding family. Look, and all their stuff is here. What's going on? All right, let's find one of the edifices and see what's happening first. I guess this is going to be a little bit of a longer video if I'm going to do some investigation. But I must know. And they don't move. I moved a couple people around, but I wouldn't have taken somebody out of that house. The Coveys, we've seen them. Gladiator ha family, I have to go over again. There's a baby in there. I'll, some stuff is happening. <laughs> What's going on? I'll have to check my settings and make sure I don't have anything weird happening, but... Um, so let's do the old sim status um, household and find one of the edifices. Preferably, like Mine was, he lived next door. Yeah, it would have been Brennan. So it's Brennan and his family, if I recall correctly. So what's your status? Where are you at? The sons smile. Did they move up then? Fam okay, occupants. Brennan, Artox, Athra, Arizuma, Smoya, Machupa, Dilshad, Bahadur, and Serena. So how did the game move them where one they had one bed and single... Oh, gosh. The sons smile. Family funds. So they bought some dumb small thing. I'm going to have to move them. That's silly. All right. So anyway, I run into little things like this that I can change off camera. I just don't want to forget to do it. There's the Emperor. Which I haven't played him in forever either. So wait, wait, no. Yeah, there's a new baby there too. Okay, anyway, so how far have we gotten with all of these videos so far? <laughs> Salsa Nesca, Bup Kale, Bup Kos. I don't know if I played them. Oh, see, Ira uh, with the orange hair, she's a servant living there in the Bupka's house. Fahadina. Salsoria. I haven't played them in forever either. So this is what throws me off about my rotation. I don't think I had missed anybody. And I don't want to play like the Gladiator House again. I know I was showing it and I was going to play them a little just to age up the kids that had been moved and didn't get to play a, a week with their family. But the Coves I played, remember them. Um, and I have to get up here back to Salsanesca. And Coveil, which was my favorite. That was the one that was a dramatic story, which is the reason I started recording in the first place. And then I have to go all the way back around. So, like, I can't stay mired in the area of town I'm in. But some stuff happened. This is my next person. Ironically, um, let me just edit the town again real quick. 
but there's a single sim that I don't know if I'm going to play her for a whole week. I should technically, but since SP divided her family and put her somewhere else, I might just get in there and see if it's worth it to keep playing her by herself. If I'm going to play a sims week, I would rather it be with the whole family than just an elder waiting for her to die, essentially. Especially if her tombstone and everything is just going to vanish and the game will just end because I'm not playing anybody, so I don't think that's a good solution for her. But when I just checked into this, this other Dwelling of the Air is that, that um, house that I made. That one uh, had been occupied by... Hang on, this is... Oh, it's Salson Ish, by the way. I need to change their name. I totally renamed Brad to Salson Ish because he didn't earn that. Um, let's see. Brad married up. <laughs> Being really simple. All right, good job, Brad. Get out, get out of here. Um, okay, here's the gladiator house. If you look at it, <clears throat> excuse me, Hermes remarried while I wasn't watching him to Selma. Now, I think Selma was just living in house. I think she was a Fahadin or something. I don't remember. So she shouldn't have married him. So it, I don't know if he broke up with his other wife and they had Ariel. So now there's a baby in the house. Who I technically should kick out, but I think I'm going to go in and end up playing the Gladiators for another just day or two to figure it out. I might have an in-between week where I bop around because this is throwing me off a little bit. And I hate to do that, um, but people aren't aging correctly. Something's going on with it, and I have to figure out what that is. So, anyway, there's our recap. I was going to switch over to the next family. So, yeah, let's find out what's happening with her. Go ahead. Roll the dice. Drum roll, please. And this is... Oh, it's not a modern house? Okay, I've been in this house before then. So it's not modern. So did her family move out? Billy Salsona. Okay, so Billy is like a Gen 2 name. How old is she? Where's her parents? Oh no, it's not showing them. Oh man, she's gotta be Gen... She could be Gen 3? Like, Gen 3 was the end of the... um. What's the beginning era? The Neanderthal? caveman era uh yeah so because it was boyd and billy i think i don't know if that was her husband <sighs> okay here we go yeah so benjamin salson was the founder so she's daughter of the founder so she's still alive which is crazy and where the heck is her husband where's boyd he's still alive too what's his excuse he remarried shana bubkus this chick marries everybody i don't know what's up with this game remarrying everyone all right, so, um, geez, oh, man. Salson. So they were Salsons all along. All right, well, she's had a, her fair, her share fair of kids, which also means I can move her in maybe to Philly's family. Persephone. Helen's already got a kid. Angela, I think, is the actual name. Urania. Ding. <laughs> that was Ming Bing. I, <laughs> I was being horrible. So Ming and Bing and I don't know. I think I named him Mingus Dingus just for the fun. I was making all of those generic sims that they were getting supposedly kidnapped from other parts of the world or whatever. Uh, I forget how you say that. Ashelowit. I don't know. Whatever. Averistus. Averistus and Lysander. Yeah, Lysander. So I'm sure I named, renamed him. And probably also Angelo. I love this baby. Super cute. Like, the, who's the dad? Oh, okay. We got Datuk. She's been marrying everybody, too. Epaphras. I didn't know he had a baby yet. All right. So anyway, so I'm going to move her back in with maybe Ming and Ding and all them. Because it's silly to have her living on her own. I like this little house. I feel like I've been here and changed things. Maybe I haven't, but I have if this thing is here. And it's got an old stove. All right, that's a super cute little house for an elder, but we're not going to do that. So what I think I'm going to do next, instead of playing, we're going to evict you. Uh, all right, and then I don't have an active family. Yep, get out of here. So where's her family? They're back here, I believe. Not that one, not that one, not that one. All right, all right, show me the people. Cecily, Solaris, Casey, nope, that's a different branch. Everybody's got cats and dogs. It's super annoying to play them. All right, this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven people in the house, which maybe is why she didn't... Maybe why she got evicted? I'm just going to place her right back in that house. You can live with your grandkids. Neil's cute, but maybe we don't play the cat. I don't know. 
maybe they have enough money to play the cat. What do I care? So maybe I'll play a couple places just to stabilize and check on all these households and get them back in order. Which would take too long. I don't think I would record that just because of all the saving and changing outfits that are going to be involved. Um, right, so when I get back into it, I'll have an idea of who I'm playing next. Gladiator, uh, Covey, Salson. This is the babysitter house for the Gladiator. So hopefully we can get up to Salsoneska. And back into Covey, which would be sweet. There's another dude that remarried. He's got a huge business. My favorite uh, current sim, other than the... Well, they're all my favorite, let's be honest. I've always, I always play favorites, and they're all my favorites. I'm such a nerd. All right, um, so I'm guessing somebody else will get moved into these houses over here eventually. Um, but it just seems like it's been forever since I played these other families. Maybe it has been. I know I, I bopped around in the beginning to show different houses. But, um, yeah, everybody's having babies, so we're pretty good. Some of the older... Not older, but the, the higher casts are going to run up against their baby limit soon and not have to just create babies and I'll be able to just educate their kids, which would be fun. I don't have a school or anything. Return to game setup. Yeah, that's not happening. Um, okay. And they had a baby, which we just named. Right, right, right. Sophia. So I guess I'll go rename the other babies and um, I'll see you guys next time. This has been kind of a fun adventure. I hope you don't mind. I took some time getting back into it. Again, this is Frog Snack. Um, let me know in the comments what you would like to see more of or less of. Um, maybe maybe the videos are a bit long, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not holding up against any advertising standards right now. This is certainly something I do for fun and not for money. Money's nice, but uh, you, you can't. the world can't revolve around it. So anyway, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll sign out.